Kathleen, how's your experience been? Um, it's been great. I just feel like um, I've always wanted to come to Cuba. I'm, it wasn't it, timing the last couple times, um, last couple years, but you now I'm, I'm, I'm getting to see it, you know, from a different perspective and uh, learning a lot more than I thought, you know, just like I had some expectations, but this has been really a great adventure, seeing the whole island, um, not just the city life and seeing how people adapt and how they're adapting to the new um, huge amount of tourism coming here to their land, but they're still dealing with it on a regular basis and um, taking taking it in, in stride. And, um, you know, I've always wanted to come to Cuba for 15 years for dancing and learning about more of the roots and because I, I love to dance salsa. So that was um, one of my, my main um, focuses this trip and I've gotten a lot of dance and my back's killing me. <laughs> <laughs> but you're so happy like you've transformed so much since you got yeah, here. Yeah, it's, so it's awesome. really good to disconnect here. You can't pay for this um, therapy. You wouldn't be able to say, oh, I want to go somewhere and just assume you can't have any connection, no Wi-Fi, but you can here. You cannot have any connection. This is a good place to be like, you know what? You're a half hour, an hour from Miami. Get on a plane. Chat, set everything up because you may not be able to reach them beforehand and just come and um, do what you probably would have done 50 years ago to try to disconnect this, mm, from this technology that that's, we're in. Yeah. It's therapy uh, beyond, um, like that's a big thing, a retreat, of, you know, getting away from technology retreat would be a perfect, um, you know, title for a getaway here. Yeah. Getaway, come to Cuba, see some amazing stuff, um, learn why Cubans had take things in stride just in general, even when they moved to the US. Like, I see now, I see now how they're living in Miami and how people are like, oh, manana, don't worry about it. And everybody else is all stressed out. <laughs> no, I know why. <laughs> yeah, Cubans can handle anything. Because they come from maybe, you know, a place where, you know what? They, they appreciate my, they do appreciate the states because I think that they take things, you know what, I'm probably, you know, a lot better off here, but we don't see that. Yeah. So that's why they don't, they don't get to see What's been your favorite moment? Favorite moment, um, favorite moment was seeing, um, the, the, the farmland and how um, people are so obsessed with we went to the uh, Teatro de Elementos, Elementos, Elementos. And even though we were close to the waterfall too, that was a great experience. Um, I just think it's great how people are so open to things that they wouldn't want to, that they, they don't want them to be open to. And they find, they'll find a way, they found a way to get involved in um, so, many, so much arts here, so much mm. art, seeing them, seeing them in that place. Um, also being in Nirvana and seeing how progressive it is. People say, oh, it's 50 years backwards in, in Cuba. Well, yeah, their cars are and a lot of things, but if you have to look beyond that and see where mm. everybody is, it's really surprising how worldly people are and they've never left Cuba. Yeah, That's, super educated. Very educa yeah, super educated. Um, some speaking many languages besides Spanish. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, that's it. Thanks for being with us. Yay! Yay let's have fun Yay. today. We're going to go on the boat. Here we go. Ayo Blanco. Bucana.